In Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League, you can wreak mayhem in a metropolis and target Justice League members. While it's a fairly straightforward game, there are still some mechanics that might be a bit challenging to grasp at first. Welcome to another episode of Blitch Tips and Tricks. Today, we're here with four essential tips to help you get started on your Suicide Squad journey. So let's dive right in. Speak up if you need better gear, because I'm not carrying your weight. In the game, you have the option to select from multiple heroes, or should I say anti-heroes? Each of them comes with unique abilities and playstyles that can give you an edge in battles. For example, playing as Harley Quinn equips you with a machine gun, a pistol and a grappling hook. Between missions in the campaign, you can switch characters, allowing you to tailor your choice to each scenario. This will also help you to gain XP, upgrade and unlock new abilities. Alive. Brainiac has questions for Luther. Boosters engaged! While traversing Metropolis, you'll come across other characters from the DC Universe. Some of these characters will reward you with upgrades, while others offer intriguing side quests to complete. These tasks will take you all over the city, and upon completion, you'll gain access to new abilities. So make sure to take a break from the main campaign to tackle some of these side jobs, because the reward will be worth it. Gunfights in Suicide Squad can become intense, so it's essential to understand the game's healing mechanic. While engaging enemies, ensure your pause before finishing them off. You may notice that enemies begin to glow blue, indicating your opportunity to harvest them for shield points. This mechanic bears a resemblance to the glory kill system from Doom. Speaking of combat mechanics, make good use of counterattacks. Depending on the enemy, they may die, become stunned or experience weapon malfunctions. Countering not only prevents you from taking damage, but also allows you to regain the offensive advantage. I am attacking Peel these guys off so we can hit the crystal! Metropolis is a vast city, and navigating it can be challenging, especially since you need to manage your character's stamina. It's wise to keep your stamina bar as cool as possible, while taking a breather naturally refills a substantial portion of your bar. The moment you touch the ground, press the right trigger to initiate a slide. This keeps you moving while also replenishing your stamina bar. And there you have it, 4 tips to make your initial playthrough of Suicide Squad a bit smoother. If you want further assistance in the game, check out our trainer offering a wide variety of mods to experience with. And if you're hungry for more game tips, be sure to explore our tips and tricks blog for Suicide Squad. You'll find a link in the video description. Lastly, don't forget to visit Plitch.com for even more mods. See you next time!